In this video, we're going to look at the various drill down functions available within Infor BI QA. We have the Drill Path Manager that allows you to manage various um, drill down worksheets that get generated from the drill down functions. Summary Drill that allows us to do an aggregated drill down. Transaction Drill that allows us to drill down into the very transactions that uh, make up the value that we're drilling down on. A breakout, which essentially breaks out the report into one or more reports based on the uh, breakout value that we're using or that we define. And expand, that allows us to expand the values, one or more values based on a user-defined criteria. We're going to use a sample profit and loss report to demonstrate some of these uh, drill down functions. So you can drill down on any value that has a Q&A formula behind it, as you can see up here. And all of these um, formulas here have a, all of these values have a Q&A formula behind it, apart from some of the totals that are uh, simple Excel formulas. In this case, if you want, we want to drill down on the services sales. So we simply select that value and uh, we do a summary drill. Click on summary. And the uh, summary drill down window appears on the screen. And then you simply specify what you want to drill down on. And in our case, we're going to drill down on a department analysis code. So we're going to search for the department analysis here in um, the output window double click on department code, and I'm going to expand the department analysis table as well so, so I can get the name, and double click on name. So I've got department analysis code and uh, the department analysis name. And then simply click OK. A separate worksheet is now generated and uh, it will be um, colored. And you will also notice that uh, it is actually protected. So a lot of the edit functions are disabled for this um, worksheet. But it gives you uh, a summary drill into that number. So you can see here is our total number. And here it is now expanded essentially by the department analysis code and name. And you can do further uh, expands like this. So if you want to do, do another uh, summary drill, but using a different analysis code, Again, we would, from our output list, find our analysis. So let's say in this case, we're going to double click on project code, expand to get the project name, and hit OK. And then we now get that same, same number expanded by um, project code and name. And you can see how you know these additional worksheets are being generated down here. You can also use the Drill Path Manager to manage these worksheets. So click on the Drill Path Manager, and uh, you can see the it shows you a list of your um, Drill Path sheets. So you can click on the sheets in here to navigate between those sheets as well. You can use the Drill Path Manager to edit and rename the sheets, to delete individual sheets, or to clear your entire Drill Path. And this will just take you right back to the report and remove any of those uh, drill path worksheets that were generated earlier. Now, if you wanted to do a transaction drill, so we can click on uh, any given number here and then do a transaction drill. And again, the transaction drill is going to drill into the lowest level of detail. So right into the transaction itself. So we're going to expand this a little bit so we can specify details. So we're going to get the uh, account code and description. We have and accounting period, transaction date, journal number, journal type, transaction reference, and description. And we have the base amount here already. And then we're simply going to click OK. 
and here we get the full transaction details of that number that we drilled down into. Here's the total, and here are all the, uh, the details that make up that total. So you can quickly and very easily analyze the, uh, the details behind any of those numbers that you have on your report. So if we now do a breakout, so a breakout will generate multiple sheets based on our breakout criteria. So again, we're going to, in this case, I'm going to select the uh, department analysis code. So double click department and double click name. So I've got a department code and name and then hit OK. Now you may get a warning to come up to tell you that uh, there are a number of sheets that's going to be generated like here so it's telling me that 14 sheets are actually going to be created as part of this breakout just click OK to continue and you can see the sheets are now being generated below and the difference with this function the breakout function is that it actually generates you an entirely new uh, report based on your breakout values so I have a whole new profit and loss report generated for the different uh, departmental anal an analysis codes that I um, chose. So I got corporate sales, enterprise sales, development, and so forth. And again, I can use the drill path manager to navigate between those um, sheets. So. And again, if you want to clear your criteria, you simply click the clear current drill path and that will remove all of the uh, sheets that were previously generated by the breakout or by any of the summary drill or transaction drills. Now let's uh, look at the uh, expand function. So in this case, you can select an individual line if that you want to expand and simply click expand. And remember that you can expand, drill down, and break out by any of the output fields that are available in the uh, output uh, selection here. So you could use uh, different analysis codes, journal types, and currencies, and whatever else you may want to expand or drill down into. Again, uh, so we're going to um, find our department analysis code and, and the name and then hit OK. And you can see how the function is now, um, how it has uh, expanded, created an expand here in a grouping and expanded that selection into another worksheet and, uh, and shows you the, the, all the values and the summary on the value that you were expanding. And now it does that for all of the columns, as by the way. So even though you, I only chose that value here, but it will do that for the prior period here uh, as well. Now do notice that it actually inserts uh, additional columns, you know, to the very uh, left of the report uh, to accommodate for all of the values that you were expanding on. And uh, so in our case here, we have the department code and the department name, and then we have the actual values themselves going to come down here and then total at the bottom. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually do multiple expands at the same time. So you could highlight a number of cells at the same time and then do an expand. And again, we're going to sort of find our uh, department code. Double click on department code and then expand, double click on the name, hit OK. And this time around, we're going to get another sheet, but you can see it's going to generate uh, and expand for um, all of the values that we selected and included in our expand selection. And here we are. And so you can now use the, uh, the grouping buttons at the top to expand or collapse the entire report, or you can just simply drill down into individual values here. To see how they how they expand and how you know and see all of the um, details that make up that total, and in this case it's uh, by department. And you, of course you could do this by journal type, by project, 
call center, you know, department or whatever other analysis codes that you have available to you. And again, you can use the drill path manager and navigate between the various different drill path sheets that you've created. And you also have the option of saving your selection and, uh, there, and uh, viewing some additional help information about the drill path manager in here as well. And that was a quick overview of the various drill down functions available within uh, BI Q&A.